Hello everybody, welcome back to Quiet Qualics' playthrough of Tales of Asteria. Last time we devised the plan to restore the, the, the blessed domain to Lady Lake, and this requires going up to some ancient rock cave carvings thing in the jigger and start beating the shit out of everything that moves. So here we go. It moves, kill it! Ready everyone! What on earth? Here it comes, Alicia! Remain calm, just attack it like you would any other creature. Okay. There we go. Looks like you win. Yeah. Go us for whipping out a giant fucking sword of ungodlike power and just incinerating everything in its path. Play even. Play an even game here. Very even. Especially since I can actually use Mystic Cards. Oh yeah! Oh. Everyone okay? Jesus. But the problem with Banish Blast is that they take a while to use. Ech. I'm gonna go through there. Ooh. That's one of four. You mean the ones I'm already wearing? Mm hmm. <laughs> Greatest costume I've ever built. Can I cosplay this? I mean, I can. Anything. You can cosplay anything. I just. That would be fucking awesome. I keep forgetting I'm not Saray. This is a Hellion. You okay? Sorry. I'm fine. Okay. What's this? The music stopped. I'm either not supposed to be here, or I am supposed to be here, just not yet. town kind of got incinerated. I I have nothing to do with that. Strawberry waffle. Okay, on that note, let's go kill this thing. I'm not Saray. I am Layla. Burn! There we go. Sally? I don't remember bringing Sally with us. Who's Sally? You telling jokes again? Nothing up here, it looks like. Look at this snake over there. A snake, it's a snake. I actually don't remember how that song goes. Totally. Bird for snake. Up oh, there it is. Burn. I am ready. There we go. Well, that was quick. Yay. I 
was with that weird, creepy-ass town back there? Abandoned Kylif. There's just a bunch of randomly abandoned towns I didn't find. Wait a minute. Oh, it's over here. What is that? It looks pretty. Oh my god, it's beautiful. What is it? What is this? I shall protect everyone. May your soul protect you Holy shit! <laughs> okay, we are running. Retreat. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay then. Everyone okay? Is everyone okay? Okay, I'm not supposed to fight that guy yet. <laughs> um. But Lila, she. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna use a bunch of apple gels because this is the thing I have the most of. So, I did not expect that thing to just completely decimate my existence. That was a mistake on my part. It was big and cute and shiny, and I was like, ooh, I wanna go touch it, and then it just annihilated me off the face of the planet. And bring it down! Die! There we go. All is done here. For the boons! I thought I saw something up here. I did. There's, there's a plant. Yep, see, just like I thought, there's a giant fucking rock in the way over there. Two more chests. Let be quiet. Is the waterfall literally just drying out my orchestra that's following just just off camera. Oops. I am your opponent. Oops. That's what I meant to do. My will shall pierce thee just like this spear. It's a very pretty spear. And a very pretty will, if I might say so myself. Okay. Near Great Morgan Falls, now entrance to Galahad Harley Harley Ruins. Okay. Yes. That is Sally Forth, as some might say. Oh, this is big. What? Oh. There we go! <laughs> Burn, baby, burn! I am ready. Ah, I didn't set them on fire. Hit them by flailing our weapons. You're right. You just got that burn. Burn. That oh, that's not that problem. Let's keep it up. Yeah, I know about that. Thank you. Yeah, we can see the resistance has got it. Is another one of these thingies. Yeah, more on targeting. Yeah, whatever. <gasps> A box! Out of my way. Silly mole levelance webs. 
I got sorbet. Oh. Burn. I don't think I burned it. I don't know if I mentioned this before or if you've noticed it up to this point, but you don't go into some pocket dimension when you encounter an enemy in this game. You fight right then and there with the environment you have around you, which can get a little irritating at some points, like where you get stuck in, on a, in a wall. True story. What's up? Which is, you know, like, by doing that, they kind of, they really innovate, they really innovate with the series and JRPGs in general, because a lot of them just take you to some kind of weird pocket dimension, um, but it needs a little bit of work because it means that the, in the level design has to be wide and spread out and a lot of samey rooms to, with room to fight in. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just, it's kind of a... It's a double-edged sword. The hell? Why is there a bow in here? A bow? It looks like it's just ceremonial. This bow is a divine artifact. A what? Oh, oh hey, right. cool. Thanks, Ray. So if this bow is a divine artifact, what does that mean? A divine artifact determines. Wait, the she's a squire, but she still needs that. Essentially, it serves as a model for the Armatus. A model for the Armatus? Oh yeah, like Lila's Sacred Blade! The Sacred Blade of Lady Lake is also a divine artifact. Huh, and that's why your Armatus is a sword. Hey, does this mean that I can use your Sacred Blade to armatize with other Seraphim as well? Well, that depends on the circumstances. First, as I mentioned earlier, just as I am the Prime Lord of you, the Shepherd, they would have to become my Sublord in turn. What exactly is a Sublord? Put simply, it is the title for one who assists Saray while working under the influence of my power. It's basically the Seraph version of you. Property of the divine artifact. It. Each Seraph has their own unique element that falls under their control. Mine, for instance, is fire. Yes, we so know that. So if the divine artifacts all have their own elements, does that mean a Seraph can't armatize with it if their element is different? Indeed it does. It would appear this bow's element is water. I wouldn't have guessed. I thought it was Earth Let's go. or something. Huh? Saray does not wish to make Miklio his sublord. Why not? It's no different than when I was made a squire. But you called on the Shepherd's power in order to achieve your dream. Isn't that right? Miklio is different. He's a whiny ass bitch. And he'll always be a whiny ass bitch. Sorry, Koa just fell over. <laughs> hey, buddy, why don't you. <laughs> Why don't you actually try sitting up straight, okay? <laughs> it's kind of insulting. S Koa, come on, sit up. Rule breaker he is. Anyways, we'll continue this next time on Quiet Quality Club. Thank you everyone so much for joining me. Sign off. Kill! Kill! Oh god! Oh god, it's those things. Whoops! Whoops! Oh god! So I did not expect that thing to just completely decimate my existence.